<laughs> Are y'all walking Toby inside? Yeah. Y'all are such big helpers and he's so happy to be walking and not being carried. He, whoop, yeah, it looks like y'all were kind of dragging him. <laughs> Maybe slow down a little bit. <laughs> slow down, Hannah and Zeke, slow down. See how he's leaning forward? There you go. What kind of? <laughs> Hallie. Hallie needed to be carried this morning. She's having a little bit of a rough morning. Good morning, guys. I'm out here in Colorado right now uh, working with an organization that's doing some really cool stuff for families and marriages and parenting and all that kind of stuff through online video. And I'm excited. We got caught up yesterday. I'm going to be shooting a lot today. So I'll show you some behind the scenes stuff as I have um, last month when I was out here. And then once the, their channel is kind of up and going a bit more, then I'm going to totally share their channel with you guys because I know you're going to love it. In the meantime, I want to share with you guys this app. I just downloaded. I haven't used it yet. It's called the Seven Minute Workout. Growing up, I was always like really fit. You know, I was a wrestler. Then I was a. I did a lot of biking and I was coaching wrestling and. And then just something happened over time as we had more kids and like got busier and now I work at home and uh, make videos and stuff that I haven't been nearly as active as I want to and I can start to feel it, you know? Um, and so I need to get fit and active again, at least start something, you know? And so I downloaded this app, it's called Seven Minute Workout and I haven't used it before and I'm gonna give it a shot, see if I can do a seven minute workout, like that to me sounds doable. All right, seven minutes every day, like okay, yeah, I can do that. So I gotta go meet with the people um, to shoot, start shooting videos and set up everything uh, in about an hour. And so I'm gonna get a seven minute workout, my first one in now before I go, um, before I head out. That was much harder than I anticipated from the segue. I love taking this thing when I travel. So, uh, I'm kind of embarrassed by how winded I became and how quickly I became winded and tired. <laughs> so, it's a good workout. Um, I'll put a link to the app I'm using in the description below in case you're interested. Not sponsored or anything, just, you know, in case you're interested. So I'm gonna get some breakfast real quick and then head over to the video shoot. One nice thing about working out too is that when you see donuts at the, uh, uh, at the breakfast, I was like, I did not just work out just to eat donuts and replace it, you know? So it was a lot easier to say no to that stuff after working out, so that was good. I just got up from a rest time and Nicole's been playing with the kids outside but now they earn tv time <laughs> what are y'all doing that doesn't look too comfortable but i guess it is <laughs> are y'all comfy can you tell mommy what we did outside we went on the walk and we read their bike and nice what else did we play did you play anything outside this is on they're not talking because the tv's on what did you play outside um, I said, go seek and ran away because Miss Nicole is a hug monster. And <laughs> ran away so we didn't get hugged. And then Hallie was on a swing the whole time. Oh, well, <laughs> pretty much. Except for hide and seek. That's so fun. All right, well, you could always enjoy your TV time. You look like you're very eager. I think it's been a while since I've really watched TV. So, we are looking forward to TV time. Now, I'm going to go eat lunch. I actually snacked quite a bit at Bible study, so I came home and just went to sleep. And now I'm gonna eat lunch. It's like two o'clock now. I get here and look what they have sitting out. Donuts! I was just telling them. <laughs> I can't get any. I can't go anywhere without having that temptation. So, but she worked out. I worked out. That's why I can't do it today. So I'm just like, oh, it's so easier. It's easy just to say no now that I worked out. But uh, I think it's a test for my first workout. <laughs> We've shot a few videos. We got a few more to do. Next one up here is about how to get to know your teenager. You guys, all set up. Let's see what they look like. That's what it looks like. <laughs> That's Brian's face. He's like, what are you doing? I just barged in. So we've done a couple. This one's about how to get to know your teenager. We did ones about how to balance work and life as a busy working mom or balance work and, your work and family. And then we did a couple other ones. That would be really cool. 
So okay. we're setting up the set, getting it all ready. I'm Brian, this is my wife Jody, and we have two teenage sons. We've discovered a few ways to get to know them better. <laughs> I love the ending. <laughs> no. I look okay. we look right there, that little tiny circle. That was take number one. Here. You should do a few. Ignore <laughs> us. Especially for teenagers, you want to be sure that you are ready to stay up. The best conversations with them is after 10 p.m. So uh, just plan for that. Cool. Good. Allie, you look like Little Red Riding Hood. Uh -huh. Oh, you do have a hood too, huh? What? <laughs> what? You got a superhero escaping. Careful, that's gonna be a lot harder to climb on with the cape on. Toby actually has climbed up these stairs several times by himself and has started going down them by himself. I don't watch. It's the same with Hallie. I didn't watch whenever they started doing it because it makes me nervous, but they can do it if they're not distracted. <laughs> For those of you who follow me on Instagram and on Facebook, I posted a little bit earlier today this picture of us, and I said, "Hey, we're gonna I'm gonna be interviewing these guys about fatherhood, marriage, family type stuff." And I asked you guys for questions. You guys answered. You guys asked a lot of really good questions. So um, I'm looking over here at Facebook also, and some good some good questions. So I think we're gonna pull out like two or three of these, and. Brian, me, and Michael. How many kids do you have? Two, three. three. How old are they? Uh, nine, seven, and two. Nine, seven, and two. Cool. And uh, so we're going to answer these best as we can uh, for you. They're, they're really good questions. So these will be published here on this channel later, like in the next few weeks or so. I'll start publishing these as their channel is then ready for you guys to go check out. So it'll be exciting. Dinner is almost ready, thanks to one of our amazing neighbors. God has really blessed us with some incredible neighbors on our street, and I am so grateful for all that they've done. We had a neighbor come over and bring dinner over who's done this several times for us, and I really appreciate it. So she made us a tuna casserole, and I've got some peas heating up that, that she brought over, and she even brought us a jar of applesauce to eat for dessert. So that was really, really kind and thoughtful, and it makes me um, feel kind of bad almost because I am not at a state in life right now where I'm able to do this for other people really right now because I'm just so exhausted and we have so much that we're taking care of of our own family. But I do keep on like continuing to like think of things like whenever our kids are older and our kids can help us out. Like I would love to reach out to other families that need the help and the support. Um, that we've needed and have been blessed with because we don't have family nearby. We don't have any blood relatives nearby. And it's huge um, to have these other families around us that are pitching in and everything. So it just makes me really thankful for that. We got a few more videos to do and uh, I am going to stand right here. We've been doing our hacks, our hack videos, quick family hacks. How do I look? Do I need to back up a little bit? I think that's the thing I need to stand on. You're looking good right today. there. Looking good. See, working out does make a difference. <laughs> so uh, this parenting little family Thanksgiving hack I'm going to be talking about is actually uh, one that my family does. And I'm not going to tell you what it is. So you're going to see it when it goes live on their channel. But um, it's the title of it is How to Make Next Year's Thanksgiving Be the Most Epic Thanksgiving Ever. So we just planned it all out. You guys ready to shoot? We're ready. All right. And I think this is our last. Is, there, is this our last video? I don't know if you guys can see. Are you blinded by the light? I just thought of a new video for you to share. Another one? Was that yeah. how to vlog in public without being awkward? <laughs> Thanks. You've got to sit in the corner and be creepy. <laughs> what is it? Giving challenge. What's that? Thanksgiving challenge. Um, Michael. Oh, you were saying about going around the table and saying what you're thankful for. Oh yeah. So. And Brian was doing that too. Challenging families to actually do that. I thought it was gonna be a challenge, like who can eat the most, like. We could challenge that. Yeah. Hashtag our own. And drink the gravy boat. <laughs> drink the gravy boat. Or the pickle juice. When I talk about for five dollars once. Pickle juice? No, the gravy boat. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, the gravy boat. All right, let's uh, get the show on the road. Some of you were asking about the drink that I was drinking the other morning to help with my placenta's health, and that is a drink by Young Living called Ninja Red. 
And Rosemary, thank you so much for your little recipe that you do to make it taste better. I did try it in orange juice the other morning. Like I had twice as much orange juice or maybe the same amount of orange juice as I did in Easter Red. And it tasted a whole lot better. Exo Patrice asked, so are you feeling the crazy nesting urges yet? And I definitely am. I have been for a while. Um, and it's hard because I want to do a lot more than I'm physically able to do right now. And yeah, so I'm definitely trying to figure out, like, we've been trying to figure out how do we rearrange the house so we can fit the twins in here and what stuff do we still get rid of. We got rid of a ton of stuff when we had the garage sale last weekend. Um, but there's still a ton of stuff in our house that we're like, well, do we really need this? And after the garage sale, I'm like, we can get rid of this stuff too. So I'm really in purging mode and um, just having to try to rearrange stuff to try to make room for fitting two more people into the house. Libertoad22, Libertoad22 asked, um, what are some of the funniest memories you have with your kids? And I think they keep on coming. Like I think the memories start getting funnier and funnier the more kids we have and the older they get. Um, and the more humor, like, Hannah's able to catch on to jokes and stuff. And, um, but even tonight, like, just watching the kids entertain each other and make each other laugh and hearing their laughter. You can probably hear some of Toby's laughter right now in the background because somebody's making him laugh. It's just really fun just to see their reaction and see how happy our house is with so many kids in it. <laughs> Thank you for those of you, um, Melissa, and there's somebody else I'll have to come up to it, um, that I recommended doing Epsom salt soaks in the bathtub. I haven't done the Epsom salt, I haven't in the bathroom, um, but I've been using essential oils in the bathtub to be able to help relax and stop the contractions, and that, I mean, I've only had two times so far, like, just the other day, and then probably a month ago, where I had my contractions, like, right on top of each other because I just overdid it for the day, and soaking in the tub in a warm bath with the essential oils totally took it away like almost immediately so um i'll have to i'll have to add some epsom salt too to that and see how that helps as well so thank you so one of brian's sons has built this contraption what is it <laughs> um is it a potato launcher i've seen these like a potato launcher but this looks like something different it's basically in anything that fits in the barrel launcher Okay. So then, what did you put in here? I put a carrot in there. There's a little carrot down there. Really okay, I see it. it. It's all the way down there. And so then you pump it up with a bike pump, <laughs> and you just pressurize it. Yep. And then I got the two um, releases. releases right there. And then you just release the air, and it shoots it out. Yep. Mm. One, and then the other one. Where'd it go? The birds, the birds got quiet. I think it went out like across the lake, I think, or that little pond. It's hard to tell. It's a little dark, but I used to really but that would that would definitely hurt. Yes. <laughs> if you hit someone off. like point blank, that would hurt. I'm gonna try straight it again. Up, this right time up. we're shooting it straight up in the air. See if we can see if we can still see it. Straight up. Ready? Go. Oh, dude, totally lost it. Oh. But it's smoking. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> it's like a legit gun. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm done hanging out here in Colorado. I'm heading home in the morning to go see my wife and kids. But thank you guys for being such good hosts. Thank you for hanging out with all you guys. We had pizza and played a game. She won. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. We had a lot of fun. So thank you guys for being such good hosts. And um, I think I'm going to be back again next month. And But I'll, I'll, I'll tell you guys about the channel before then. I won't keep you hanging. Like, I know it's been a few months now. You're like, just show us already. I'll, I'll show you. So uh, that'll come up maybe, what should I show? Maybe two weeks? That you think there'll be enough content on the channel by then? Sure. All right, maybe, maybe two weeks. You guys remind me if I forget. So we were going to go out and get some chocolate, um, but we came right home, cut the date short, because Dana's been having some contractions.